Hi, this is your host Subhni Bharti and welcome to another episode of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us Dhana Venkatesan, uh, Technical Director at Robin.io. Dhana, first of all, welcome to the show. Hi, Subhni. Uh, thanks. thanks for having me on the show. Now, if I'm not wrong, Robin has also uh, released uh, uh, a new version of cloud native storage for Kubernetes. Earlier, it was available only on a certain cloud. Now you are uh, bringing it across uh, other clouds. So first of all, tell me uh, a bit about this new release and what all platform you're supporting with it. In this current release, like uh, we are supporting all Kubernetes based uh, platforms. Like we are supporting it both on-prem as well as on, on the clouds. We are supporting it on GKE, uh, AKS, OpenShift on any of the cloud managed Kubernetes, um, OpenShift on on-prem. Um, so this is, we, we really, and we are supporting all workloads like irrespective of uh, uh, what kind, what category of uh, thing? They, some simple applications, simple databases to very complicated, like resili- like very distributed applications. So our what we are saying is that like our cloud native solution is now available on all platforms, all Kubernetes based platforms, as well as for any workloads. Can you also talk about? Uh, I mean, of course, there is support for a lot of other platforms, but. Have you added any new feature or services which were not available earlier? In the latest release, like we have, uh, we have enabled data management for Helm charts. As you know, Helm is the most popular package manager and deployment mechanism on Kubernetes. Now with Robin, you can you can register an, an entire Helm release as an application with Robin, the Robin storage, and you can easily snapshot, backup, and migrate an entire Helm release as a single entity. Now we also added the ability to have data locality, which is essentially compute storage affinity for performance sensitive workloads. Um, and we also now provide affinity and anti-affinity policies uh, for storage as against just the compute that Kubernetes provides and they, which, which uh, enables support uh, for the availability and of stateful applications that rely on distributed databases and big data platforms. One more thing is that if we do look at Kubernetes, uh, there is no, first of all, no dearth of uh, storage solution, number one. Also, traditionally, Kubernetes was seen for a stateless workload, but of course, you know, it is, <laughs> even you can run your toaster on Kubernetes nowadays. So stateful is going to become a really big piece there. So first of all, talk about in this crowded storage space on Kubernetes, how are you trying to differentiate yourself? That is one piece of the puzzle. Number two is that people go for multi-cloud hybrid cloud. You do support all platforms, as you said, but how do you enable these two things and also trying to differentiate yourself? So uh, uh, that's a very good question, right? So because one, there is a, there are a lot of uh, uh, CSA-based storage solutions available for Kubernetes. But note that like Kubernetes was originally designed for stateless applications such as web apps, which have no persistent data. Whereas, like many enterprise applications nowadays, they are all they are like uh, persistent, stateful applications, like databases or like um, data ma- processing applications. Right. So, when you try to run such stateful applications with their associated data on Kubernetes, you need a storage solution that under that understands Kubernetes constructs, so that it can seamlessly integrate the orchestration of the storage resources the application needs along with the compute orchestration that Kubernetes does, right? And not only that, like Kubernetes also manages the life cycle of these operations. But when when the life cycle of the op- operations of the applications happen for the compute, the data of these applications also need to be managed. So to do all of this, we need a, a storage stack that is that understands these Kubernetes constructs and also integrates seamlessly with them. And Robin Cloud Native Storage for Kubernetes, or Robin CNS, uh, does this in a very simple and intuitive way. Like we understand these applications and we are able to let the users talk in terms of uh, applications, uh, application and application storage instead of talking about individual data volumes. We recently did a round of predictions and of course we had Robin.io also there. One thing that is becoming very, very clear is that data is going to become really critical and also uh, people will want ownership over data because they really do not want to be logged into one cloud vendor because they want to leverage different cloud providers. You know That is why you are also supporting different platforms. 
how do you see things, especially in the data storage space, things will evolve, which will also reflect in the roadmap of you know, cl your cloud native uh, storage platform. So can you talk about the evolution of storage, not only from Robin's perspective, but in general, what you see in this space as well? Nowadays, like for example, in when when telecom operators move to five move to five G, they want to deploy cloud native uh, telecom solutions, right? And they are looking at Kubernetes. Uh, that is where I think you we are getting to the edge computing and the edge solutions, right? And the other places like a lot of a uh, lot of companies are looking to move their AAML workloads onto Kubernetes, right? And these AAML workloads have a lot of data which they have to process for their uh, for the for the machine learning and the artificial intelligence thing. So all of these uh, require uh, like a storage solution which is available along with the compute, like uh, and it, which can scale as the compute scales. Typically, like all the even if you take the edge workloads or in the AML workloads, you can start off with a small like a small cluster, and then you want to scale the cluster as your workloads increase. And when you do that, like you need the storage to be present along with uh, to scale along with it and to be able to scale both in performance as well as in capacity, right? So for that, you need a, you need a cloud native solution which uh, which not only which 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 understands Kubernetes, which also says that okay, hey, so I my compute is running on these portions of the cluster, so my storage should be preferably located closer to the compute, right? And that is how because that is how Kubernetes was originally designed. If the if you have to uh, make your storage available from a from uh, from a distant location or which is not local to where the compute is present, uh, that makes the the entire application workflow very cumbersome because the application performance starts to degrade. And that is one part. The second part is even when all these applications are running either on the edge or on the or on or on uh, running on these specialized AML workloads, the uh, the application still need these enterprise features like snapshots, the ability to take backups of good states, and to be able to restore when when the when the nodes fail, right? Or to handle automatically handle things like uh, hardware failures and like hardware refresh cycles. So all of these require a, a storage solution which is like tightly integrated with Kubernetes and is able to. Uh, understand what Kubernetes is doing, and so be able to support the applications with their storage needs. And this is kind of also uh, what uh, Robin is also offering with the, its uh, storage solutions, something similar to to cater to some of these use cases. Right. So uh, the the Robin Robin Cloud Native solution does all of these things because uh, what we what we do is that like we allow for applications to specify that my hey my, I am I am running on the edge, so I need my my compute and my storage to be present in the same node. I don't want to. I don't want my storage to be present somewhere else, right? So we we enable uh, we, we enable application developers and IT operators to pull the compute and storage together and keep it uh, and and use it as one unit. So you can you can basically take a snapshot of the entire of an application, its metadata, and and the, and the configuration, and we are able to uh, treat that as one unit, and you are able to. Uh, take snapshots. You are taking able to take backups, and you are able to clone all of these things in one unit instead of like having to manage them individually. So now you have a platform there, and you are now supporting every other platform. So there are two questions I have. Number one is that can you also talk about what is the pricing model for it? And second is that how can somebody just try it out? Hey, so in the in the latest release, like uh, we we announced uh, the availability of Robin Express, which is a full featured free for life edition. Now most companies like can give a customers a scale back version to test drive or uh, or offer a trial of the product for a free time, right? Like we are not blocking any features. We offer a trial of the we we uh, we are offering a, a free for life edition which is available which you can install on up to five nodes and you can store up to five terabytes of storage. We want our users to experience all the benefits that Robin Cloud Native Storage has to offer. And on the other hand, like uh, we when you when you upgrade to Robin Enterprise. We offer like 24 by 7 enterprise support, unlimited node and storage capacity, and true per node hour consumption based pricing. So uh, we can, they, uh, when you're deploying on the cloud, we, uh, we, we, we charge you based on how we want, how you are charged for everything else in the cloud. We give you, uh, we only charge you for the uh, hours of time that you are using. 
and for for other for on prem support like we offer like annual 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 deals for enterprise support as well as usage dhan thank you so much for taking time out today to not just talk about the robin.io's own storage platform but also talk about how the whole storage landscape is changing because this new workload edge ai ml and i look forward to talk to you again so thank you hey thanks tapnil thanks for spending your time with me like thanks for giving me the chance to explain robin storage